captain Olivier Vigneault was back in the Nantes team as they entertained Socho at the Stade de la Bourgeoise. There was a debut in the visiting side for Thomas Gerber, a signing from the second tier club Dijon just before the uh, summer transfer window slammed shut. This a meeting between two teams tipped to struggle this season. Socho down at the foot without a win to their name. Michel de Zacarion's Nantes side had beaten Bastia on the opening day of the campaign at home. Hadn't won since then. They drew nil-nil at Reims in their last outing before the international break. They were the uh, stronger side in the first half here, though. First chance of the game falling to Serge Gakpé. His shot held at the second attempt just by Simon Pouplin, the Socho goalkeeper. Pouplin would be a busy boy on the night. Lovely move this by the home side. Ball eventually falling to Gakpé, who took it first time. Didn't really get the best of connections. And Pouplan doing enough to keep it out. Not uh, remaining on the front foot after that. Gakpé on the right-hand side this time. And it was his cross that came to Filip Djordjevic, who was denied by a magnificent Pouplan save, flying high up to keep that one out, tipping it over the bar. Gakpé's cross met by uh, Djordjevic, who was mightily impressive in Nantes' uh, promotion-winning campaign last season. And uh, remaining the main man up front for Nantes these days. They haven't made too many summer signings, but one of those, Alejandro Bedoya, came close uh, to getting the breakthrough there. Shot from a tight angle, just off target. Bedoya brought in from Swedish football in the summer, the United States international who played for his country in the uh, win against Mexico. A very important World Cup qualifier. Just a few days before this one, Bedoya already making his presence felt at Nantes. Goalless at half-time. And Nantes remained the more likely side in the second half. Michel de Zacarion, the Nantes coach, sent on Banel Nikolica, the Romanian international winger, brought in on loan from Saint-Étienne just before the transfer deadline. And it was his free kick that was headed home by that man, Djordjevic, to give Nantes the breakthrough. The goal had been coming. And Djordjevic, perhaps the most likely source of it, got up well. And this time, Simon Pouplan stood no chance. Nolte in front now. Socho chasing the game. And Nolte on course for a second win of the campaign. They might have gone on to win by a bigger margin in the end. Another chance for them before the finish. The substitutes, Fernando Aristeguieta. And Nikolica combining here. Nikolica had the space and the time to line this one up, but Pouplan made the save. Despite the social goalkeeper's best efforts, they were beaten. And they're still looking for their first win of the campaign. They're down at the bottom of the table now. Not, though, looking up the way again after this 1-0 win. They had to hold on at the end. The final whistle was met with some relief by the Nantes fans, De Zacarion's side running out 1-0 winners.